Hi, my name's Cash, and you're watching Cashed Out Cars, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to replace your front brake pads on a DR350 SE. Now my bike is a 1999, and for older bikes the process might be slightly different, but this is going to show you the general process to replacing your brake pads, so let's get right into it. The first thing to do is to remove this fastener here that runs through your brake pads. Now this is a 5mm hex wrench. There we go. We're just going to spin this thing right out of place. And now we can go ahead and move on to the next step. To remove the front caliper, you need to just loosen up and remove these two bolts that hold the thing on. These are 12 millimeters on a 99DR350 SE. This one I cracked loose earlier. And there we go. That's all there is to it. So now I'm going to go ahead and loosen these things up, slide them out of place, and now the caliper should be free, and then you can just go ahead and slide it right off. And now you'll be able to go ahead and pull out your brake pads. One of them will just pop out of place, and the other one will need to be just moved over a little bit here. You might want to use a screwdriver to pry it out of place. That's what I'm going to do. That thing popped out of place. We can move it down there and remove it from the caliper. Next, you need to go ahead and compress these pistons back into the caliper. To do that, I'm just going to go ahead and use my old brake pad here, get that thing into place, and use a C-clamp here to press that back into the caliper. Here we go, I'm just turning that thing back in. I did end up getting a bigger C-clamp here because the one I had before was way too small. Now, the reason that you need to do this is there's going to be a lot more meat on your new pads than your old ones, and if you don't push those pistons back into place, you're not going to have enough room to get your caliper with the pads in it back over the rotor. So, you need to push those things back in, give you the extra space, and once you have the extra space, you could go ahead and put your new pads in place. Next, you could go ahead and grab some caliper grease, and you want to grease up the parts of the caliper that are going to slide. In this case, you have the brake pad there that slides, and the hole in it right there, where that bolt that you took out earlier goes through it, that'll want to be greased up too. So, you, once you get that in place, you could go ahead, and you saw me put the first one in, but get that clip in place, make sure that's seated properly, and then carefully slide your other brake pad into place here. Now, it goes without saying, but you do not want to get grease on your brake pads. Once those are in place there, you could go ahead and turn this back into place. And once that's bottomed out and snugged up, your brake caliper with the freshly installed pads is good to go back over your rotor. Now you could put your caliper bolts back into place. And then finally, you could go ahead and torque down your caliper bolts to 19 foot-pounds. Alright, so the very last thing to do once everything is reassembled is to take a little bit of sandpaper and scuff up your rotor. Now this takes off any glaze that was built up and it helps your new pads bed in easier. So to do that, all I'm doing is taking some 100 grit sandpaper and turning the rotor and doing circles on it as I turn it. Once you're all set with that, you could bed in your brakes. The process is probably slightly different depending on what brake pads you get, so look into what you have to do specifically for your brake pads and you'll be in good shape. Alright, that's going to wrap up this video. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe for more. And if you're looking for brake pads for your bike, whether it be for a 99 like mine or an earlier version, I have all the specific links to your bike down in the description below. Like I said, like this video if you liked it, and subscribe for the next one.
Take care. <laughs>